there are young people who, for whom a four-year college degree is not the best fit. And we have to face that fact. The fact that we resist facing that fact means that we fail to prepare the way for young people who need options other than four-year college degrees. A successful career is possible for anybody who, first of all, completes high school. That's going to be, that's a given now. And then chooses very wisely what they go to their post-secondary training in. College is not a destination, but part of a pathway. That is um, really something that a lot of colleges need to pay attention to. Because remember what students are experiencing. What students care about is getting an education so they have a brighter future. Whether that education happened in K-12, in a two-year college, in a four-year college in graduate school, probably is sort of artificial from a student's perspective, right? For a student, it's all education, and it's all to lead to a, a really good life that comes next, however they define that. I'm Deb Shepard. I'm president of Lake Area Technical Institute, which is located in Watertown, South Dakota. Our mission is to educate our students so they can get a job upon graduation. The one thing that you can build your life on is a solid job and a job that pays you a decent wage. 90% of students list that as the number one reason they go to college. And so the colleges that are most successful aren't just imagining what it is that employers want. They are in regular, weekly, sometimes daily contact with folks in the industry to make sure that what they're teaching aligns to what the industry needs are. The employers that are looking to employ us out of this school, they uh, come in and tell the staff what they should be teaching us, and then the teachers and staff set it up so we are learning what the employers want us to learn when we get out into the real world. And we see that at Lake Area Technical Institute. Their 30 programs, the heads of the 30 programs, right on up to the, the president of the college, are in regular contact with the employers who are hiring students. And they're able to turn their programs on a dime. When something needs to be changed, new equipment needs to be brought in, if they can't afford it, they go to the industry. We currently have some technicians from the school, and they've been great. The thing is, we need more of them. You know, so that's why we're here today. We're meeting the advisors. Um, we want to see what we can do for the school. A lot of times, the industry will approach us and say, I can't find enough people, you need to start a program. In the case of heavy equipment operator, there wasn't a program anywhere. In fact, we've been told we're only the ninth program in the nation. I don't feel like you can uh, book learn how to operate heavy equipment. You need to get the feel of the machine, to be able to feel uh, what you're doing with the machine, and also to get what I want for the students is to get for them to have a picture of what they're doing before we even start moving dirt. So it's almost like an art. Lake Area Tech has a rule that uh, in, in most of their programs that you must engage in hands-on education within the first three weeks of, of starting class. And um, enabling students to apply what they've learned in the classroom in real life settings, um, in hands-on education, engages students, number one, who don't do as well with book learning, but might do better with hands-on education. Nice thing I like about this program is we only sit in the classroom for an hour a day, maybe, maybe less than that, and you can go outside and run equipment right when you start. So I kind of fell in love with just running equipment. So I figured I'd get into the program and spend the rest of my life running heavy equipment. They used to think that people came to schools like this because they weren't college material. And that phrase around here is just fighting words to us. When they get here, when we get them into something that they like, they will blossom, they will do it. They will work harder than anybody because they see the prize. They know why they're doing it. When they come in the door, they have to pick their major. And so they are accepted to that program. They're not accepted to the school per se, they're accepted into that program. And for each program, we have admission standards. So if you're going into welding, you have to be able to read at a certain level and math at a certain level. If you're going into nursing, then there's a different test you take and a different set of metrics that we're looking at. These 30 programs are block structured. 
It looks a lot like uh, high school does in, in a sense. You arrive at eight or nine in the morning and you're done by 2.30 or three in the afternoon, four or five days a week. And the instructors have decided what it is that matters most. And they incorporate that into a four or five day week. Most colleges offer 1,000, 1,500 program, uh, courses, 100, 150 programs. And that, that's sort of a dizzying array for students. And helping uh, students either navigate that system much more effectively, or more impressively perhaps, narrow the choices of courses, helps help define for students what really matters and uh, may help them get through at a much higher rate. The success rates are remarkable. Uh, Lake Area Tech has a 76 to 80% graduation rate, depending on the year you look. That compares with a national uh, rate, no matter how you count, of 40% or lower. So it's twice the national rate. We think one of the reasons the graduation rate is so high is we get the students in the right lane right away. And then the way the programs are structured, we break them down into tiny groups. I like having a small teacher to student ratio because you can actually know your teachers and you can go in and talk to them about whatever you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be school related. Right away, from day one, they're in their program with their instructors. Everybody knows them. They know their name. They know where they're from. They know what they want to do. They know their strengths and weaknesses. And I think that's one of the reasons it works so well. Catch him? All right. Once these young people find what they want to do, there's nobody that does better than they are. I mean, it's awesome to work with those kids. A student should be able to expect that they are getting a skill that is highly marketable and that they will get a job. Our placement rate, the last um, report we did was 99%. We're either employed or they were continuing their education. First and foremost, I want them to be able to have a job no matter what it is and be able to have a work ethic to show up on time and give 100% to earn their pay. What we expect from our graduates in return is that they do a good job and they make us proud and they do that every day. But uh, we expect them to work hard and advance in their industries and then eventually become leaders. To our last one. 